morning, Washington! How you doing, folks? Let's see, we had an earthquake and a hurricane in the same week. Wow! 2011. Wow! <laughs> okay, it's Saturday, the 27th of August, uh, the day the uh, Hurricane Irene's coming up the coast. Um, you know, it's lightly raining here at a little afternoon on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I'm, lo I'm looking at the... Uh, I'm looking at the Channel 9 radar weather here, which I like. I like Channel 9's radar weather because unlike other radar weathers, this one, you know, it's their HD thing. It's uh, usually pretty accurate. You know, I'm I'm located at the top of the W there in Washington, you know, on this, on this grid here. So if I see a little red blob there, yep, it's going to be raining. This little yellow blob just passed over us about 10 or 15 minutes ago, and sure enough, it did. So, the, you, know, you know, but when you look at this thing, you know, it's raining, but, you know, there's no red there, at least not yet. <laughs> you know, there's a moderate rain there over southern Maryland, and, uh, I, you know, and the rain shield looks like it's probably going to go about as far as Warrington or maybe Winchester, you know, but uh, uh, I don't know. You know, it's going to be an, it's a nasty day. I'm not, I'm not saying it won't be, but I do think the, the weather folks are kind of uh, making a fuss about it here in the Washington area. Now, Here's, here's what I'm saying. Okay, let, let's go back to this Channel 9 map, okay? Okay. The track of the storm looks like it's going to be right off the coast, okay? Meaning it's going to go right up here, okay? Now, that's good news for the Washington area because mainly the worst thing we want the, the hurricane to do, uh, Irene, is to come up the bay or to come up um, to, the, to the west of the bay like Isabel did back in 2003, well, that came up right over us, okay? And boom ba we got hit with humongous winds in the middle of the night. They're not power out for a lot of folks for a couple days. This storm, on the other hand, is going to come up the coast, it looks like, from all the projected things. So it's going to come tracking right up the coast, maybe a little bit off. That's good for the Washington area because it'll mean our rains will be, you know, we'll be a good 150 miles west of the center of the storm. We'll get some rains, we'll get some winds, but we're not going to get the intensity that uh, they're going to get, say, on the you know the Delmarva or further north. Now it's going to be bad news for New York and places north like Long Island and into New England because as long as that storm stays over water, it can intensify. It comes right up the Gulf Stream here, which is that warm water this time of the year. You know that storm can intensify and just really you know get more powerful as it comes up. And the Jersey beaches, uh, New York City, Long Island. Uh, Billy Joel, Mariah Carey, watch out. Uh, um, you know, up there it's going to be really bad. But I think the D.C. area, you know, it's going to be some couple inches of rain. We're going to get some 30, maybe 40 mile an hour wind gusts, except maybe on the far eastern suburbs. You know, Annapolis might see a little more. But I think, you know, it's not going to be the incredible hype fest that, you know. But you got to say to yourself, look, these TV stations, radio stations need ratings. They hype it. And in a, in a weird way, maybe it's good that they overhype something like this because it gets people overprepared. And, you know, in a social sense, being overprepared for a storm is certainly better than being underprepared, okay? Going out and stocking up on all the flashlights and generators and stuff, and then the storm doesn't hit. Okay, you're inconvenienced. You've gone out and spent a little too much money on things you didn't need right away. you probably use them someday. But, you know, hey, it's better to be safe than sorry. So in a weird way, it's, a, it's probably not a bad thing that, that radio and TV stations are hyping this like they're doing it, you know. Uh, it, the worst thing would be if they didn't hype it, people took it casually, and then it came in and blew their roofs off and hurt them, you know. But I just, I, I'm amazed. I am amazed at the Washington Post. You know, here's, their pa here's the paper today, okay, on page A6. And they have a nice... Very detailed, wonderful, wonderful graphic here of the storm and what it means for the, the you know, the mid-Atlantic and the northeastern coast there. And it's a very nice graphic, and they've done a nice work on it. But then you look down here, okay, and uh, you see these two little bands. Okay, there's a yellow band and a red band. Now, if you look at this chart here, okay, the, re the red band is the approximate area uh, I can't. I, you got to focus on it. Okay, it's hard to see it. Let's try. Ah! Earthquake! Earthquake! Oh no! Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I gotta get an automatic focusing webcam. This drives me crazy. Let's let's try to get this focus in there. Okay. So now I'm focused up on the close mode, so I'm all fuzzed out. But anyhow, so if you look at this graphic down here, okay, the red is the approximate area of the tropical storm winds, but the yellow is the approximate area of the hurricane force winds. That's wrong. They got it mixed up. The red the red circle, which is the inner circle, is the hurricane force winds, and the yellow circle, which is the outer circle, is the tropical force storm winds. If you look here, they got the grid wrong. Now, you know, again, it's another minor screw-up from the Washington Post, but this paper makes so many mistakes. Stupid proofreading type editing mistakes. You know, and to get it wrong, on did somebody at the damn Washington Post even look at this graphic, pay attention to it? I saw this in two minutes. I opened up, just read, opened up my morning paper and go, you know, they mixed up the labeling on these two graphics. I found that out right away. Just somebody at the Post, when they set this stupid thing up, whoever does this, does, does anybody even bother to pay attention? It's just, it's amazing how many silly screw-ups at the Washington Post. Utterly amazing. You know, again, it's not a big deal. They'll probably run a stupid little correction in Sunday or Monday's paper. Well, due to a clerical editing error, we got the stupid circles mixed up and the coloring of the circles. But it's just, you say to yourself, good Lord, Washington Post, you know, does, do you bother to proofread the paper? I mean, I could understand me making that kind of an error, one guy website, you know. But when you've got proofreaders and editors and writers and graphics people and you, you can't, you just blunder city over there. Just so, you know, they need to have somebody sit down with the paper before it goes out the press and just sit and glance at it. Mm -hmm. You know, and do that. I mean, it took me two minutes when I opened up that page to see that. Just crazy, 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 crazy. So what am I watching today? I can't take all that. Okay, we're going to, you know, all you do when you turn on the TV and the major stations or the radio, it's just, you know, there's going to be big winds, there's going to be uh, big winds, there's going to be big rains, there's going to be big winds, there's going to be big rains, there's going to be big winds, there's going to be big I know that. I know that. Bring in your lawn chairs. I know that. Uh, tie down your pets, you know. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. It's like, all right. You know, it's like I just don't need to sit and watch it over and over and over and over and over and over. But then that's me. So what have I what am I got on the uh, Dave K Dave TV today? What am I watching? There you go. I'm watching Green Acres season four on the DVD player there. The Ralph the Carpenter. You know, <laughs> folks, yeah, we had. Uh, uh, it's been a crazy week. First, we had the earthquake on uh, thir Tuesday, and then on Thursday, the roofers came and ripped my roof off, as you probably heard on my Thursday edition of Dave TV, and. Uh, then it rained. I mean, it rained hard for a couple hours, and I had a couple of roof leaks up there and all that. I see the skylights back there. They put nice new skylights in, but, you know, they just laid them in place, and then it rained hard because they didn't get them sealed in. So water was dripping ding, 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 from those skylights down on the floor there. <laughs> There's a mess. So they came out yesterday, and they, you know, they finished up the work. Nice sunny day on Friday. And I heard they were up there for all day caulking and I know all these pungent smells of like caulk were coming through the ceiling there. So, you know, we had a little blast of rain come through here about, oh, 15, 20 minutes ago. And so far, so good. So, you know, uh, I guess the worst comes out of it. I get the condo association to give me a new ceiling and repaint it or whatever. I don't know. But uh, at least a repaint job, you know, because I got some, if you can see over here, those are some leaks from years ago. There's a chimney stack. My downstairs neighbor has a chimney. I don't have it at fireplace, but chimney stack, and the water often comes down the chimney stack, down the roof. It's a slanted roof there, kind of a cathedral ceiling, and those are past roof, past roof leaks up there that I have, you know, plugged up in kills and all that, and they've solved those problems, but that was with the old roof. So, whatever. Drip, 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 drip. <laughs> okay, folks. Uh, gosh, I'm at the, almost the 10-minute mark. Yeah, what, what else is there to talk about today? Um, Sherry Elliker. Goodbye. Sherry Elliker has, leave WBA, she has left WBAL. That's a confirmation. They didn't renew her contract. Uh, this, the manager of the station, Ed Kiernan, had very nice things to say about her, but apparently 
for budgetary reasons or whatever. They've just decided not to renew her contract. Now, Sherry did her own morning, mid-morning show there at the station for a while, and then she got moved to the uh, afternoon news block to do some anchoring and um, <coughs> reporting when they started that up earlier this year. Uh, Sherry goes back a long time in the Washington, Baltimore radio market, and she used to be on the old Don and Mike show back when they were on WAVA, back when that station was cool, 105.1. So there, Jen Royal, uh, she's the, uh, she used to be on Masson. She's the uh, very pretty um, reporter that does, she does the pregame and post, pregame shows for the Orioles and Ravens now on 105.7 The Fan, WJZ. She just moved down from New York about a year or two ago. And it looks like she may be heading to New England. Uh, apparently the uh, Yes Net, well, apparently not the Yes Network, Nesson, N-E-S-N, the New England Sports Network is interested in her. And also we are also hearing some radio stations in the Boston market are interested in her. That's her home market. That's where she grew up. So, uh, you know, probably she probably would like to go back there. We've also heard that uh, Jen is uh, dropping her lawsuit against Nestor Ap Aparicio. He's the uh, owner of WNST Radio. Apparently, uh, there was some stuff posted on WNST's website that was not very flattering about Jen. And uh, she filed a lawsuit, defamation lawsuit against him and the station uh, back earlier this year. And uh, you know what? I, at the time, said there's no basis to that. Jen's a public figure. And, uh, you know, when you're on the radio, when you're on the television, that's par for the course. You're going to get people saying dipshit things about you. They've said it about me. They'll say it about Jen. They'll say it about other people. That when you're a public figure, which is when you put yourself out in the public arena, you're going to get that. And, uh, you know, Dan Snyder should know that, too. Uh, it would surprise me to hell if Dan Snyder's lawsuit doesn't get thrown out against City Paper. Because he's a public figure, for heaven's sake. All right, folks, that's the big news for today. It's about the 12-minute mark. Don't want to go too much longer than that. Dave TV, Hurricane Irene. Eh, 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 hunkered down with Green Acres. So have a good one, and uh, don't forget to uh, stay tuned and cut.